When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, when you're laughing, when you're laughing the sun comes shining blue. Keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. When you're smiling. First impressions are priceless. I'm Dr. Kenny Levine. For the past 37 years, we've been helping patients of all ages restore their smiles. Today, with modern technology and lasers, we're able to treat infants of seven days old. We treat their parents. We help them not only keep their teeth, but restore function for the rest of their lives. Call 954-603-7109. Good evening. Welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Kenny Levine. Health Talk is a show about your total wellness from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. We interview medical and dental and psychological and psychiatric specialists that are going to help you stay healthy for the rest of your lives. I'm a dentist. I'm a periodontist. I treat gum and bone disease. We do dental implants and laser therapy. We treat patients from age three or four days old up to 100 years young. But this show is not about dentistry. It's not about me. It's about you. Tonight, I'm proud to introduce Dr. Andy Wasserman. Andy, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Well, I'm glad you're here. You know, <clears throat> chiropractic is a little bit of a mystery to many people. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got interested and how you got started? Sure, sure. You know, when I was about 12, I suffered from really bad headaches. Didn't know why. Went to my uncle, who's a pediatrician, said, there's no problem there. Another cousin was an ophthalmologist, said, you don't need glasses. And my mother brought me to a chiropractor. And in about two or three weeks, I had no more headaches. And these headaches were really debilitating. I couldn't play sports, had to leave school sometimes. And it took about six or eight months for me to discover that chiropractic was my answer. So fast forward, I'm in the University of Maryland studying zoology. I wanted to go into healthcare sciences. And I discovered that chiropractic was really my field I really loved, I, I thought I really wanted to do. It combined uh, anatomy and physiology with sports and sports medicine. So it was really a perfect fit for me. Now you spent, now I also went to the University of Maryland, by the way, oh. a couple of years before you. So after you went to Maryland for, was it four years? Four years. And then you went to chiropractic school where? In New York, up in Long Island. They moved the school since then, but uh, it was a large school on the North Shore of Long Island. I actually used to ride horses right past your school when I was a kid. Very nice. I grew up on the North Shore of Long Island. So you went to your school in, on Long Island and you, did you come right back to Florida at that time? Well, actually, I, I grew up in uh, New York, uh, lived at home while I was going to school, and I had an invitation to come to Fort Lauderdale and practice chiropractic with my cousin. Mm -hmm. And I came down for two or three days, and I said, just send everything down. I'm not coming home. Uh -huh. This is the place for me. And I eventually I met my wife about a month later. I didn't know she was going to be my wife, but I met her on the beach. And 28 years later, we have two great kids. One is actually going to chiropractic school right now in St. Louis. That's terrific. Well, my story's similar but different. I met my wife on the North Shore of Long Island when I was 14 years old. She was a small child. And uh, she and I started going out when I was in college. And when we were getting serious, she told me she wanted to live in Florida. So that's what developed with us. She had gone to the University of Miami. And I found out a long time ago that if I listen to what she says, that life is better. Yeah. Right. So, so Florida's a great place to live. We love it. Why do you like it so much? Well, I like it because I can play golf four days a week. I live about 11 minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport so I can get wherever I want to be. Right. And it's a terrific place to be. So tell me a little bit about your, the journey into your practice right now. We don't believe that just, just the adjustment or just massage or a little physical therapy is the way to answer their problems, but we want to retrain the spine. We want to make the spine healthy and functional. And then we can show the patients what to do so that they could live a healthy lifestyle knowing what to do. So we educate their patients. There's some mysteries about chiropractic, as mm -hmm. I mentioned before. I know someone who's a chiropractor that didn't have his children vaccinated because he believed that that was not the appropriate thing to do. You want to just make a comment about that? Yeah, you know, I, um, as a chiropractor, you're kind of indoctrinated into uh, the germ theory. If your body is healthy, then, they could, then the body should be able to fight the germs. Living in South Florida, there's tons of 
different cultures here. Um, I, I, I did an exhaustive research, and what I really want to do with my children, we ended up vaccinating my kids after consulting my pediatrician, my uncle's a pediatrician, and my sister in law's a pediatrician. Right. I decided, you know what, I'm going to vaccinate my kids. I want to be safe. And the, the risk benefit ratio was, to me, safer bet to just get them vaccinated. Good. Well, we're going to continue this discussion in a moment. I'm Dr. Kenny Levine with Health Talk. We'll be right back. Thank you. First impressions are priceless. I'm Dr. Kenny Levine. For the past 37 years, we've been helping patients of all ages restore their smiles. Today, with modern technology and lasers, we're able to treat infants of seven days old. We treat their parents. We help them not only keep their teeth, but restore function for the rest of their lives. Call 954-603-7109. Hi, I'm Dr. Kenny Levine with Health Talk. I'm back here with Dr. Andy Wasserman. Andy, you talked about children and infants. At how young? What is your youngest patient? My youngest patient is my son. Uh, my wife had a, we had a tough time conceiving my son. And eventually she got pregnant. And upon birth, the OB uh, handed me the baby. His best friend was a chiropractor. He said, here, you know what to do. I'm thinking I'm holding my brand new son, the first boy born in my family since me, 31 years. <laughs> I'm petrified. And I said, you know what? I'll do what I was taught to do. I gave my son a very light, very easy movement of the cervical spine. He's my youngest patient. Gotcha. So just moments old. Five, six seconds old. Is that craniosacral therapy you're talking about? No, I, use, I, I worked in the upper cervical spine at that point. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, our youngest patient in my practice, I think to date is three or four days old, wow. they're referred to us by lactation consultants, and we help, we do a procedure to free up a tongue tie so the mothers can nurse properly and the children receive nourishment. Okay, so let's fast forward more than a couple of moments old, and now we're talking about young children. Right. Okay. What type of problems do young children have that you can address for them? Well, you know, chiropractic can address a wide variety of uh, diseases, conditions. But we focus on neuromusculoskeletal problems. So the kids that we see usually have, either if they're very young, maybe four or five years old, they wake up one day with a wry neck or torticollis, uh, which is just really a bad muscle spasm in the neck. And we can work on that through the different therape therapeutic modalities. We also see a lot of kids from sports injuries from age six or seven to their teenage years. And we see a lot of the kids from the high schools and the travel teams and uh, figure skating, golf, soccer. I mean, you just name the sport, we've seen it. Horseback riding, all sorts of things down here. So we treat a lot of children, uh, boys and girls. Uh, we also do rehabilitation and performance training in our office. So you can make them better at what they do? Better athletes. Better athletes. Better athletes through better function. And no me none of those bad medicines? No medicine. We don't dispense any medicine. We don't do any surgery. There's no ill effects. And in fact, um, they could do a lot of the exercise on their own. We give them homework assignments to do at home, at the gym, on the field. We're going to talk about athletes in a minute, but let's talk about uh, your relationship with the other medical specialists in the community. How do you function with the orthopedists or the patients, uh, family physicians and things like that? Well, yeah, we've been really fortunate. We are, we've been in practice 28 years. I've been in practice 20 years in Coral Springs. We're the uh, longest standing practice in the, in the city. Um, in all that time, I've had the chance to meet a wide variety of specialists and primary care physicians. And they've gained confidence in us because we have a really valid way to approach problems. Uh, they know that we're truthful in our uh, information to the patients, and we get generally very good results in a short period of time. So we have a good relationship with orthopedists who we refer some patients to when they have surgical needs. We have good relationship with pain specialists. When we can't get somebody better, they may have a disc herniation or spondylo, uh, spinal stenosis. We may refer them to a, spi a spinal pain specialist. We have neurosurgical consults who refer back to us if, for post-surgical care. Um, and the general specialists, we get ENTs that refer to us for vertigo uh, really? that don't even know us. They said, just go to a chiropractor, they find us, and we treat vertigo occasionally. I can't say that everyone's gonna get better, but a lot of them turn out to be uh, very positive. Is there more than one doctor in your practice? 
we have actually three doctors, three chiropractors. I have Dr. Krasminski, who's from Buffalo. Uh, he's been with me 12 years. And we just added last year Dr. Brian Casey, who is from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I would say he's not a specialist, but he spends a lot of time on sports injuries and specifically golf performance. Well, I gotta see him. Yeah. He, he can make my golf better? Uh, he can make you uh, functionally better. Okay. The, the good is up to you. Okay, that's, that's good. Um, and you, you and your three partners, you talked about him being a golf specialist. Do you all do similar things other yeah. than that? We, uh, we practice similar styles, so we complement each other. We all bring different things to the table, whether it's uh, adjustment style, uh, soft tissue modalities. We do some, certain things like that called active release technique, which is a soft tissue modality that's used by the best athletes in the world. We do grasping technique that's good for scar tissue. A lot of athletes and runners and dancers use that. We also do the, uh, a performance technique called functional movement screen that all the teams in the United States and the, across the world use to assess the athlete's biomechanical uh, weaknesses. So we all do these things. We all assess the patient and we all could give them rehabilitative exercises. We're gonna get back to the professional athletes in just a moment because I have a little bit of history that way. Uh -huh. It's Dr. Kenny Levine with Health Talk. We'll see you in a minute. Thank you.